Well, today we'll going to discuss regarding alkaloids and its introduction, and then after in later classes we're going to discuss the determination of molecular structure. I'm Dr. Devang A. Pandya, Department of Chemistry, Saint Jeeves College, Autonomous, Ahmedabad. These are the syllabus points that we're going to kind of take into the unit. Alkaloids, general biogenetics of uh, alkaloids and its study before general biogenetic study of alkaloids we'll discuss the introduction and history of alkaloids as well and then after the chemistry of uh, quinine morphine risopine and choline when we use what is chemistry of quinine means we need to study five things into it first one from what we can get the quinine the source after getting the source we need to study the purification of that compound after purification we need to discuss its physical chemical properties then after the structural elucidation and structure and structural elucidation will not complete uh, if will not include uh, synthesis of p9 and then after its application when you include these five things into it uh, that is a complete package of the chemistry of that molecule so same way for quinine morphine risopine and colchicine we're going to study the chemistry the source purification physical chemical property structural elucidation synthesis and application the same we need to study for vitamins as well we're going to discuss the introduction of vitamin classification of vitamin uh, there are so many series of vital amines in uh, required for our body but we're going to take only four of them and we'll study the synthesis and biochemical function of those four vitamin which are here vitamin b1 that is thiamine hydrochloride vitamin h that is biotin vitamin e that is alpha tocopherol in tocopherol series we're going to discuss only alpha tocopherol over here vitamin c that is ascorbic acid so these four vitamins are there in our syllabus and four alkaloid that's it in this unit too let's begin with the introduction of alkaloid alkaloid of any class of naturally occurring organic nitrogen containing bases the compound which contain nitrogen organic compound which contain nitrogen it has a basic nature they are considered as an alkaloid alkaloid have diverse and important physiological effect on humans and other animals what is the physiological effect that will that we'll going to learn later and which kind of activity is there in animal and human that is also a study we're going to take later on well known alkaloids include morphine quinine phenine ephedrine and nicotine but in our syllabus morphine quinine risopine and colchicine four alkaloids are there alkaloids are found primarily in plants and especially common in certain families of flowering plants so mostly alkaloid is found into of plants and those plants which is going to give a flowering those plant contain alkaloid as the primarily member of the compound in fact as many as one quarter of higher plants are estimated to contain alkaloid of which several thousand different types have been identified and when i said several it is not in small number it is in thousand thousands of alkaloids are nowadays 
used in one way or other for mankind. In general, a given species contain only a few kind of alkaloid. So, for the opium poppy, that is Papaver somniferum and the ergot fungus, Plave sips, each contain about 30 different type of alkaloid. That means opium, all, opium itself have 30 different type of alkaloid in it. Or we can say uh, ergot itself have 30 different type of alkaloid in it. Certain plant families are particularly rich in alkaloids. All plant of poppy family that is Papa varacea are taught, taught to contain them. For example, the renin Pelasia, that is buttercups, Sonansia, that is uh, nightshades, army lidacea, that is army lils, amaryllis, are oh, sorry to pronounce because it is a biological term, so it is difficult to pronounce for me as a chemist. Other prominent alkaloids containing families are there as well. A few alkaloids have been found in animal species. Uh, such as the new wild beva, that is Castra can canadensis, and uh, poison dart frog, that is uh, philopets. That we are going to see with pictures as well, the poison dart frog, which contain alkaloid in it. Ergot and a few other fungi also produce alkaloids. The function of alkaloid in plant is yet not understood. For which particular activity in plant the alkaloid is produced, that is not that much clear. It has been suggested that they are simply waste product of the plant. During the metabolic process, the waste product of the plant is generated that is known as alkaloid. But evidence suggests that uh, they may solve specific biological functions as well. Some plants, the concentration of alkaloid increases just prior to seed formation and then drops off when the seed is ripe, suggesting that alkaloids may play a role in this process. That means alkaloid have a role to increase the seed formation and then uh, when the seed get rise, it will drop off. In this process, alkaloid concentration when increase, this process will take place. That means that is the uh, biological activity of most of the alkaloid in the plant. Alkaloids may also protect some plants from destruction by certain insect species because it has its carcinogenic effect. It will prevent the plant from certain insect as well. The chemical structure of alkaloids are extremely variable, it is complex and that is why molecular elucidation of alkaloids is little bit difficult. But if you will use the defragmentation of the molecule and then part it into smaller fragments then it would be quite easy to get the chemical structure of this complex uh, alkaloid as well. Generally, alkaloid contains at least one nitrogen atom in an imine type structure, one derived from ammonia by replacing hydrogen atom with hydrogen carbon groups that is called hydrocarbon. So from the hydrocarbon, one hydrogen is replaced by ammonia and that is how the nitrogen will be there in the hydrocarbon as an imine structure and that is how it gives basic character that you know that organic amines will basic in nature and that is why it is alkali type and that's why it is called alkaloids. This or another nitrogen atom can be active as a base in acid base reaction. So this nitrogen acts as a base in acid base reaction that is why it is called alkaloid. The name alkaloid that is alkali like or alkali type was originally applied to the substance because like the inorganic alkalis, these compounds, these alkal alkaloids react with acid to form salts as well. 
most alkaloids have one or more of their nitrogen atoms the part of ring of the atoms that means the nitrogen is incorporated into the ring structure at a heterocyclic ring frequently called a cyclic system and these kind of alkaloids contain a basic nature as well as a heterocyclic input and heterocyclic compound alkaloids name generally end in the suffix ein a reference to their chemical classification as amines in amines ions is there so most alkaloids are ended by the suffix ein as well in their pure form most alkaloids are colorless non volatile crystalline solid compound this is the common characteristic of alkaloids you can uh, stick it to each and every class of alkaloids some may be differ than this uh, they also tend to have a bitter taste that is common uh, to uh, amongst all the alkaloids that they are bitter in taste and they are little bit toxic in high doses as well interest in the alkaloid stems from the wide variety of physiological effect both wanted and unwanted they produce in humans and other animals the physiological activities produced in human and other animals that use dates back to ancient civilization it is not a new one it is used in ancient civilization but a scientific study of the chemicals had to await the growth of organic chemistry for not until simple organic bases were understood could the intricate structure of the alkaloid be unraveled the first alkaloid to be isolated and crystallized was the potent active constituent of the opium poppy that is morphine in about 1804 and you know that morphine is used as a very fine analgesic drug for cancer aided patient alkaloid are often classified on the basis of their chemical structure for example those alkaloids that contain a ring system called indole are known as indole alkaloids which is not in our syllabus but you need to know that the ring structure containing nit nitrogen containing ring structure that is heterocyclic alkaloids are called indole type of alkaloids on the basis the principal classes of alkaloids are the pyrrolidines pyridines propanes pyrrolizidines isoquinolines indoles phenolines and the terpenoids and steroids these are the compound which is as a base skeleton then that alkaloid known on that base skeleton so on the base of the base skeleton in the structure the alkaloid is known as well alternative alkaloids can be classified according to biological system in which they occur and their trivial name should be assigned to those alkaloid for example the opium alkaloid occur in the poppy opium poppy that is papaver somniferum this dual classification system actually produce little confusion because there is a rough correction between the chemical type of alkaloids and their biological distribution the medical properties of alkaloids are quite diverse medical properties is very different a spectrum of uh, different properties has been used morphine is a powerful narcotic used for the relief of pain narcotic please mark my word narcotic that is a, a drug which is a habit forming forming drug or we can say addictive drugs come into a class of narcotic for a relief of pain so its additive properties limit its usefulness codeine the methyl ether derivative of morphine found in opium poppy that is papaver somniferum is an excellent analgesic that means it is little less carcinogenic compared to morphine and that is relatively non addictive come into non narcotic category certain alkaloid act as cardiac 
and respiratory stimulants as well. Quinidine, which is obtained from plants of the genus Cinchona, Cinchona bar, that you know that uh, it is used to treat arth arthritis or irregular rhythms of the heartbeat. So, how much important these alkaloids are? Many alkaloids affect respiration, but in complicated manner, such uh, that the seva respiratory depression may follow stimulation as well. The drug lobaline, that is lobalia inf inflata, in safer in this respect and is therefore clinically useful for the uh, use for res respiratory depression as well. Ergonovine, that is from the fungus, we are going to obtain an ephedrine. That is, if a drug species we can obtain, act as blood vessel uh, con constrictor. And I just discussed these many alkaloids which are not in our syllabus, just to understand that what is the importance of alkaloid. Ergonovine is used to reduce the urine hemorrhage after childbirth. Hemorrhage is going to be restricted. And ephedrine is used to relieve the discomfort of common cold, sinus, sinusitis, high fever, and bronchial asthma. Many alkaloids, local anesthetic property, though clinically, they are seldom used for this purpose. Cocaine, for example, that is obtained from the erythroxylum. Coca is a very potent local anesthetic. Quinine that is obtained from Cinchona species is a powerful anti-malarial agent that is, you know, chloroquine. That was formerly, formerly the drug of choice for the treatment that, treating that disease. Though it has been largely replaced by less toxic, more effective synthetic drugs that is made artificial in laboratory related to this synchona free extract the alkaloid tubocurarin is an active ingredient in the south america aeropoison curare obtained from chondrodenpron tamentosum and is used as a muscle relaxant in surgery for neurological disorder, this is used in certain heavy operations. Two alkaloids, vincristine and vinblastine from Platertas rosas, formerly uh, Vinca rosas, Russia, are widely used as uh, chemotherapeutic agents in the treatment of many types of cancer as well. Nicotine obtained from tobacco plant, that is Nicotina tobacum, is the principal alkaloid and chief additive ingredient of tobacco smoke in cigarette, cigars and pipes. Some alkaloids are illicit, illi, illicit drug and poisons as well. This includes halluxinogenic drugs, mescaline, from Lephophora species and Psilocybin from Psilocybe Mex Mexicana. The synthetic derivative of alkaloid morphine and Lysergic, Lysergic acid produced from heroin and LSD respectively as well. The alkaloid conine is the active component of the Poison hemlock, and that is taken by uh, most famous, uh, we can say, writer Socrates. Stretching from stretchinol species is another powerful poison as well. Special methods have been developed for isolating commercial useful alkaloids. In most cases, plant tissue is produced to obtain aqueous solution of alkaloids. 
Alkaloids are then recovered from the solution by process called extraction, which involves uh, dissolving some uh, components of the mixture with reagents. Different alkaloid must then be separated and purified from the mixture. High performance thin layer chromatography that is HPTLC and related techniques may be used for the efficient quantitative analysis of these alkaloids as well. Alkaloid in crystalline form may be obtained using certain solvents. Well, this frog contain the poisonous alkaloid on its skin. That is a poisonous uh, frog contain alkaloid. 300 years that is the history of alkaloids used by humans. As already I have said that since ancient time alkaloids has been used and uh, to know a new topic it is good to start with the historical background which will going to give us little glimpse that how this subject will start and how it flourish and that is the technique by which we can learn uh, from its start from its ABC to the newest development so i have included the historical glimpses of alkaloid in this presentation as well in most human history alkaloids from plant extract have been used as an ingredients in position as liquid medicine or poisons in potion sorry as liquid medicine or as poisons Asian people used plant extract containing alkaloids for treating a large number of ailments including snake bite, fever and insanity as well. In the Middle East, the text of opium poppy that is Papua somniferum was already used at 1200 BC. You can see how much old history alkaloid has. Alkaloid of opium poppy that is popivaram capsules releasing latex when wound pounded latex contain the alkaloid morphine uh, related alkaloids such as codeine as well so this is the poppy seed of the plant opium maturing capsule and that is indicated over here in this ancient uh, statue as well that is opium poppy capsule and that contain alkaloid in it and it is in the crown of this statue you can understand how much importance they are giving to these alkaloids those days alkaloids of opium poppy popivaram that is a uh, codeine and morphine looks similar only the difference is the hydroxyl group in which the hydrogen is substituted by methyl group over here uh, so these are the two compounds obtained from Papaver somniferum. This is the flowering plant from which the poppy seed will contain these two alkaloid. And before Perenas frog accumulated high amount of morphine in its skin. This frog contained high amount of morphine in its skin as well. Well, this is another plant from conine is going to be obtained. And uh, piperidine alkaloid contain conine. The first alkaloid to be synthesized that is this conine that is obtained from this plant. And conine is extremely toxic, causing uh, paralysis of motor nerve endings and death of Socrat Socrates in history. The philosopher Socrates drank and extract of conine containing hemlock. And that is the way people forced him to drink this hemlock which contain high doses of cocaine and that is the way Socrates will give up his life. In Egypt the Queen Cleopatra used extract of uh, henbane that is hyoscyamus to expand her eyes pupils and appear more attractive to her male political competitors. So this uh, politics is not from these days, it is from ancient days. You can see Cleopatra is trying to make her eyes more attractive. She is using this alkaloid as well. You can see here to increase the pupil of eye 
Cleopatra is using this alkaloid, atropine. Theria, a mixture of opium dried snack meat and wine is used those days. One of the oldest and long lived medication in the history of mankind is used in this way. Again, spider, uh, scorpions and snacks. So these are the formulation from which the drug is going to be obtained from this opium as well. Morphine named for Morphus. Morphus that means the god of dreams. In Greek mythology for god of dream word Morphus is used and from Morphus morphine is named. It means that when you have that morphine isolated from opium poppy seed uh, it affect your CNS and you become the god of dream. That means you forget your all pain, your all worries, your all tension and you are going to be the god of dreams. But I want to advise you to have a higher doses of morphine as it is toxic and it may cause your death as well. Patrick Sartner isolated morphine in 1806 and this gave rise to the study of alkaloids. So alkaloid study a chemical study, a systematic study is not that much uh, ancient. Uh, in 18th century, in the beginning of 18th century, Frederick Sarchanel has started learning the alkaloid and isolating the alkaloid from the plant itself. In 1819, Carl Misner gave the name alkaloids after the plant alkali from which soda was isolated, that is sodium carbonate. And that is called alkali in Arabic, and that is why alkaloid is named, and that name is given by Paul Misenard in 1819. Alkaloid first defined as pharmacological active nitrogen containing basic component of plant origin. This is going to be the definition of alkaloid. A pharmacologically active nitrogen containing basic compound of plant origin is called alkaloid as well. Later we are going to discuss more for the definition of alkaloid as well. Alkaloid bearing species have been found in nearly all classes of organisms such as frogs, ants, butterflies, bacteria, sponges, fungi, spiders, beetles and mammals as well. Not always synthesized uh, de novo in the organisms but rather taken up. Some animals such as frog produce toxic alkaloids in the skin or in the skin or uh, secretory glands. Insects use plant alkaloids as a source of attractants, pheromones and defense substances as well. So maybe as you know that there is no for physiological or we can say metabolic uh, study of this compound for the plant. Why plant produces this is still unclear. Uh, but some alkaloids has been used by the plants uh, as a source of attraction of hormones and defense substance as a defense substance to prevent themselves from the insect bites. Well, this is what may attract you. Because uh, without temptation there is no study and without study there is no result. So to obtain result you need to study and for study you need to have a temptation. This is the temptation that alkaloids is used in a modern medicine like this. Atropine, antidote to sow, gas poisoning is this one that is obtained from the alkaloid as well. Another alkaloid in modern medicine is codeine or morphine act as uh, analgesics. They are pure painkiller but uh, come into narcotic class of drug and it has been given for pain killing effect to cancer added patient or certain patient which have immense pa pain which cannot be covered by simple paracetamol or some other analgesic drugs. Then this codeine or morphine has been given to such patient. Uh, caffeine that is Going to affect the central nervous system the, that stimulate the central nervous system and that is why when you are learning and you are learning too much or uh, in little tension or stress you to have a cup of coffee which contain caffeine may refresh you right so this is a caffeine 
use as modern drug alkaloids in modern medicine that is quinine the quinine from cinchona tree used in anti malarial elicited exploration of this uh, topic it contains so many things we will going to discuss on quinine later on a monoterpenoid indole alkaloid is there as well and prepared from the bark of this cinchona tree so this compound is quinine other is uh, sanguinarin antibacterial showing anti plaque activity used in toothpaste and oral rinses as well and it is obtained from this kind of plant Alkaloids have a geopolitics as well. The opium war is a famous opium war. That war is between Anglo-Chinese uh, and Britain people in, in the period 1839 to 1859. The Chinese people and the Britain people are fighting for this opium. So it is known as a well-known opium war. You may Google it and you may found more information regarding this war as well. Due to trade deficient, Britain had to start using silver for the trade with India in exchange of silk, uh, porcelain and tea. The opium is going to be exchanged with India. The British started sm smuggling opium from British India into China to reduce the amount of silver they exchange and are lost in both the wars. China forced to tolerate the opium trade and sign unequal uh, treaties, opening several ports uh, to foreign trade and giving Hong Kong to Britain. Several countries followed Britain and forced unequal terms of trade into China. This foreign influence led to the downfall of the Qin dynasty in 18, 1911. So opium is have that much kind of history as well. And last glimpses in opium history, the French apothecary uh, Derosson probably isolated the alkaloid afterwards known as Narcotin in 1803 and Hanoverian apothecary certain uh, further investigated opium and isolated morphine in 1806 to 1871. Isolation of other alkaloid part, particularly by uh, Palladia and Cavendu is rapidly followed by this these many alkaloids in different years going to be identified conine was the first alkaloid to have a structural establishment was given in 1870 and to be synthesized by Lamberg in 1889 but for others such as colchicin it was well over a century before the structure were finally elucidated in the second half of the 20th century alkaloid uh, featured strongly in search for the plant drugs with anti-cancer activity as well. Well, this is enough as far as the introduction and historical background of this alkaloid uh, concern. I have tried to extract some information from internet and try to put it in front of you. You may search more and learn more about alkaloid and then after uh, vitamins as well. Now after this we are going to study the structural elucidation, general structural elucidation for alkaloid and after the general structural elucidation of alkaloid we are going to discuss one by other each alkaloid and its chemistry. Uh, so this much is enough from my end. If you have questions, queries, doubts, please put on chat box or either you may email me as well. Thank you for listening this lecture very patiently.